Let's wholeheartedly embrace the practical stoic exercises that can be effortlessly woven into our daily routines, propelling both personal and career enrichment. At the forefront of our exploration is the concept of morning meditation. This crucial stoic practice is all about dedicating time each morning, ideally as the sun peaks over the horizon, to reflect profoundly on our aspirations, principles, and motivations. This practice is much more than just a quiet moment in the morning. It is an opportunity to set the emotional and intellectual tone for the day ahead. By devoting time to morning meditation, we allow ourselves to step into the day with calmness, positivity, and clarity. It serves as an essential platform for us to clearly define our intents for the day, thus enabling us to align our actions with our core values. Morning meditation is akin to tuning your inner compass at the day's commencement, directing you towards an unambiguous sense of purpose. This in turn sets a solid foundation for your day and acts as a catalyst to propel you forward with dedication and focus. Engaging in this practice, you prime yourself to approach the day with a purposeful mindset, one that is more likely to lead to heightened concentration and productivity as the day progresses. In essence, morning meditation is a powerful tool that empowers us to live intentionally and purposefully, thereby transforming our day-to-day -day existence into a more meaningful journey. We now shift from our morning meditation to delve deeper into the next crucial stoic exercise, the practice of mindful reflection. This exercise is not just about momentarily pausing and reflecting on our thoughts and actions, but it's a profound process of self-examination. Carried out throughout day, it provides us with an opportunity to self-evaluate, to examine whether the steps we've taken are in line with the values and objectives we set during the morning meditation. The practice of mindful reflection serves as a mirror, reflecting our actions and thoughts. It helps us keep a steady and constant alignment with our values. If we find ourselves straying from our goals, this practice helps bring us back on track. It's not just the actions we undertake, but also the emotions and thoughts we experience throughout the day. All of these are assessed through this practice. Moreover, it's an important part of our journey towards personal growth. It's a time for acknowledging our achievements, no matter how small or big. It's also a safe space for us to learn from our mistakes. Mistakes are viewed as opportunities for learning, rather stumbling blocks. Each mistake we make, every setback we experience, is a lesson that aids us in making better decisions in the future. This practice of mindful reflection can be implemented at any point during the day but its effectiveness is amplified when conducted in solitude and peace away from external distractions. It's our personal check-in time, a moment to reconnect with ourselves, fortify our dedication to individual growth, and perform necessary adjustments, if needed. By regularly practicing mindful reflection, we cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and pave the way for continued progress. As we delve deeper into our exploration of mindfulness, Let's take a detailed look at a technique rooted in Stoic philosophy called the view from above exercise. Picture, if you will, observing your life from an elevated vantage point. Envision yourself as a tiny speck and gradually expand your mental viewpoint to encompass your residence, your local community, your city, and eventually the earth in its entirety. This aerial perspective is akin to a bird's eye view where our worries and problems can appear less daunting against the backdrop of the vast universe. The significance of this exercise is not to diminish the importance of your experiences, but rather to contextualize them within a larger framework, providing you with a newfound perspective. The view from above exercise encourages us to see situations as they genuinely are, not as they tend to appear when we're embroiled in them. It enables us to comprehend the bigger picture, making it easier to perceive issues without the distortion of being too close to them. Not only does it grant us clarity, but it also aids us in understanding our place in the grand scheme of things. Envision yourself as a dispassionate spectator gazing down upon your existence, a bird's eye perspective. This exercise, more than a mere mental diversion, is a powerful tool that helps us cultivate an enriched sense of perspective. 
It acts as a catalyst to disentangle ourselves from the fine threads of everyday chaos. What does this exercise entail? It pushes you to rise above your immediate circumstances and observe your life as an outsider. By doing so, step out of the sphere of trivialities that often cloud our judgment and impair our ability to see things clearly. It's a reminder that we are part of a much larger scheme, a colossal world that extends beyond our immediate concerns. The view from above encourages us to focus on the grand scheme of things, the bigger picture, if you will. It's a gentle nudge to ignore the static and tune into the signal. It's about understanding the transient nature of momentary troubles and appreciating the enduring value of long-term goals. Thus, rather getting mired in the minutia of daily life, the view from above fosters an elevated perspective, helping us prioritize what truly matters in the grand canvas of existence. The practice of the view from above is an invaluable tool that allows us to detach from the trivialities and of everyday existence, affording us the clarity and wisdom to navigate our journey with tranquility and insight. By adopting this perspective, you're able to broaden horizons, rise above the daily grind, and approach life's challenges with increased calm and understanding. As we transition from our bird's eye perspective, we plunge deeper into Stoic philosophy's practical wisdom and examine the fundamental tenet known as the dichotomy of control. Envision for a moment two circles. One embodies elements within your sphere of influence, your thoughts, actions, and responses. The other circle stands for external forces beyond your grasp, encompassing others' actions, weather patterns, or worldwide phenomena. This paradigmatic Stoic principle distinguishes between what is within our command and what lies outside it. The dichotomy of control's real power lies in its emphasis on distinguishing and concentrating on the first circle, the one that represents what we can control. Through this principle, we learn to release our grasp on the uncontrollable external factors and channel our energy towards managing our thoughts and actions. When we apply this precept, we cultivate inner fortitude, rebound capability and tranquility irrespective of the turmoil in the uncontrollable outer circle. As we navigate the course of our lives, understanding this dichotomy becomes vital. It serves as a reminder to sidestep unnecessary stress, sustain our inner peace, and maintain equilibrium. The dichotomy of control equips us to our focus from futile attempts to control the uncontrollable towards influencing our reactions to external circumstances. Always remember, we may not have power over everything that occurs to us, but we hold the reins of our responses. This shift in focus is the core essence and transformative power of the dichotomy of control. As we move away from the dichotomy of control, we'll take a closer look at the practice of premeditatio malorum, an ancient Latin phrase meaning the premeditation of evils. This stoic exercise, far from being negative, is a powerful tool in our arsenal to anticipate and brace ourselves for the worst possible outcomes in any given situation. Envision yourself standing at the edge of a towering cliff, peering into the chasm of the unknown. It's intimidating, isn't it? Such is the essence of premeditatio malorum. It hands us the chance to engage our fears directly, to bring to mind the most catastrophic scenarios, and to mentally execute our strategies to them. But what does it mean to visualize the worst case scenarios? It means to fully consider and map out the potential negative outcomes of a situation before it happens. It's not an invitation to dwell in negativity, but a mental exercise that equips us to deal with adversity in a more practical and calm way. By considering the worst, we can plan and prepare, thereby reducing anxiety and fear. The practice of premeditatio malorum is not about fostering fear or pessimism. Quite the contrary, it's designed to build our mental resilience. It strengthens us, makes us more durable, and allows us to bounce back from hardships. When we've already confronted our fears in our minds, we're less likely to be taken by surprise when obstacles come our way. We become more than just survivors, we become navigators, pilots, steering our way through adversity with wisdom and balance. As we continue on this journey, strive to weave this practice into your daily routine. By doing so, you'll construct a mental fortress of resilience and fortitude, 
making you capable of withstanding life's tempests. Remember, life is not about evading difficulties. It's about being fortified to meet them head on. This is the true art and power of premeditatio malorum. It is more than a practice. It's a lifestyle shift that can significantly alter how we approach life's challenges. A well-rehearsed mind is a resilient mind, and this resilience in prepares us to weather the storms of life with grace and strength. Let's now plunge deeper into the significance of the Stoic Journal, a potent instrument for personal evolution and introspection that transcends the ordinary. The Stoic Journal is not just a log of your day-to-day -day activities. It serves as a reflective mirror to your soul, recording the ebbs and flows of your inner thoughts and emotions. This journal, steeped in the practice of premeditatio malorum, offers an intimate space to understand and navigate your feelings, thoughts, actions. Imagine yourself seated in a serene corner, armed with a pen, ready to spill the contents of your heart onto the pages of your journal. These pages are not merely to jot down your everyday experiences, they become a canvas for your fears, your dreams, your triumphs, and the hurdles you've surmounted. The journal is a confrontation zone for your anxieties, a platform to anticipate potential roadblocks and formulate strategic responses. It's also a celebration area, a place to applaud your victories, regardless of their size. It's a pathway to growth, resilience, and serenity. With consistent engagement in this practice, you'll gradually notice patterns and identify areas that need improvement. The Stoic Journal will provide you insights into your reactions to varying circumstances and guide you towards mastering your responses. This practice of self-reflection and self-awareness is a crucial stepping stone towards building resilience and wisdom, equipping you to face life's adversities head on. As we progress deeper into understanding Stoicism, remember the significant role of journaling in your daily routine. Embrace the Stoic Journal's practice as it serves as a catalyst for personal evolution, resilience, and ultimately, tranquility. It's not just a pathway, it's an enlightening journey to self-discovery and personal growth. In our continued exploration of Stoicism, we delve deeper into a pivotal practice known as the Stoic Fear Setting Exercise. This deeply reflective exercise is crafted with the intention to assist us in facing and ultimately defeating our fears. Envision yourself seated in a serene and tranquil setting, possibly the same spot where you maintain your Stoic journal. Begin by calling forth the most profound fears that dwell within the shadows of your subconscious mind. These are the fears that habitually create barriers, preventing us from unlocking our latent potential, venturing into unexplored territories, and fully immersing in the richness of life. The exercise encourages you to record these fears in your journal. Acknowledge them, label them, and admit their presence. Having recognized your fears, initiate the process of visualizing the impact each fear could have on your life if it were to materialize. Although this might appear intimidating, it's a crucial stride towards overpowering them. Subsequently, contemplate on the measures you could implement to impede these fears from turning into reality and the strategies you could employ to mend the situation should it unfold. By partaking in this exercise, you are not just recognizing your fears, but also formulating a strategy to overcome them. Stoic fear-setting exercise paves the road to bravery and resilience. It endows you with the strength to confront your fears directly, and when you do, you'll discover that the fear often loses its stronghold over you. Keep in mind, the fear we imagine is frequently more daunting than the actual reality. Therefore, as we proceed with our exploration of Stoicism, let's commit to facing our fears, defeating them, and emerging more robust. As we delve deeper into the world of Stoic practices, let us take a moment to closely examine the Stoic gratitude practice. This practice is an invaluable tool built on reflection and appreciation. It invites us to shift our perspective, focusing not on what's absent or erroneous, but cherishing what's already existing and correct in our lives. Find tranquility, possibly in a place where you often sit with your stoic journal and allow your mind to gently wander. Let it explore the individuals, moments, and objects that spark gratitude within you. These could be as simple as the comforting warmth of the sun on your skin, 
or as profound as unwavering support from a cherished person in your life. Once you've singled out these blessings, take the time to record them in your journal. This act of recognizing and documenting your gratitude is a seed from which a positive mindset grows, further nurturing a sense of contentment. The Stoic Gratitude Practice is instrumental in cultivating an appreciation for the present moment and the gifts it offers, counteracting our innate tendency to dwell on the negatives. The practice is more than just a tool for nurturing positivity, it's a potent method for strengthening resilience. By nurturing an appreciation of what we possess, we become less susceptible to the sting of loss or adversity. It's essential part of our expedition into Stoicism, a daily practice of gratitude that may seem minor, but can wield a significant influence on your overall outlook and resilience. It encourages us to live fully in the present, to appreciate the now, and to find joy in what we have rather than mourning what we lack. As we pivot from appreciating our blessings to facing our fears, let us take a breath to delve deeper into the core of all these techniques, the Stoic mindset. This state of mind is deeply entwined with resilience, perseverance, and inner strength. The Stoic mindset isn't merely a mental state, it's an embodiment of endurance, a testament to our capacity to overcome adversity. It is the fruition of resilience, the ability to bounce back from challenges and setbacks and to keep pushing forward no matter how difficult the circumstances. Having a stoic mindset means you don't just endure hardship, you rise above it, you learn from it, and you come out the other side stronger. Moreover, it is a monument to perseverance. It's about staying on the path pursuing our objectives regardless of the obstacles that may lie in our way. It's about understanding that the road to personal growth and self-improvement can sometimes be rocky, but we have the determination and tenacity to keep going despite the hurdles we encounter. The stoic mindset is also deeply rooted in inner strength, a crucial element that often goes unnoticed. It represents the power within us to withstand life's trials and tribulations, to face adversity and come out victorious. It's the fortress we build from within that allows us to stand tall in the face of a storm, immovable and unshakable, drawing power from our core. Accepting the world in its true form, not as we wish it to be, is what the Stoic mindset preaches. It reminds us that hardships and challenges are mere fragments of life and that we possess the power to them with composure and equanimity. This mindset doesn't advocate for emotional suppression. Instead, it encourages emotions to be transformed and channeled productively. It's about converting anger into understanding, fear into prudence, and confusion into clarity. This is the essence of the Stoic mindset. The philosophy doesn't just prepare you for future challenges, but also nurtures in you the strength to endure and flourish in their midst. It's important to remember that the objective is not to evade challenges, but to develop the grit and resilience required to effectively navigate through them. Keep this mindset close to your heart as we journey deeper into the realm of Stoicism. It's the master key that can unlock a life of peace, bravery, and wisdom. As we explore the tenets of the Stoic mindset, let's take a deeper dive into what many of us find daunting, failure. The Stoic approach to failure is a unique perspective that doesn't view failure with fear or an aversion, but rather as an inevitable and, in fact, essential part of our life's journey. Imagine standing before a formidable wall of failure, not cowering in fear, but confronting it with a sense of curiosity, courage, and an open mind for learning. This is the heart of the Stoic approach. For the practitioner's Stoicism, failure doesn't represent a setback or a defeat. Instead, it's perceived as a stepping stone that leads us towards growth and wisdom. It offers an opportunity to learn, adapt, and evolve, to strive for betterment. When we stumble and fall, we are given a chance to uncover areas where we can enhance ourselves. It's like standing in front of a mirror, showing us our weaknesses and pushing us to our resilience. Consider failure as an uncompromising teacher who might be stern, even harsh, but is always fair. This teacher urges you, challenges you, to strive towards the best version of yourself. The Stoic approach to failure encourages us to see failure in a different light. It's not something to be dreaded or avoided at all costs, but a valuable instrument meant for personal development. 
Embracing the stoic approach means transforming the fear of failure, the courage to grow. It's about seeing failure as a guide rather than a ghost. As we chronicle our journey into this approach should be our mantra. Embrace your failures, learn from them, and let them chart your course towards a path of resilience, wisdom, and personal growth. It's about understanding failure as not the end, but just a bend in the road, guiding you towards your ultimate destination, growth. Now, let's venture deep into the intricacies of negative visualization. On the surface, it might appear counterproductive, however. It's a potent exercise rooted in Stoic philosophy. Think as a mental simulation of the worst case scenarios. Imagine the most challenging situations and consider the ways we might tackle them. This isn't about inviting negativity, but about preparing ourselves for life's unexpected twists and turns. Let's break it down further. It works by creating a mental blueprint of potential adversities. This allows us to prepare practical solutions and emotional responses ahead of time. In doing so, it instills resilience, acting as a mental and emotional armor when faced with real-life situations. It's like a rehearsal for life's challenges where we anticipate the hurdles and brace ourselves to take them on. Negative visualization isn't just about preparing to face the storm, but about learning to dance in the rain. It fortifies us, making us less likely to be derailed by unforeseen setbacks. It's about building mental fortitude, adaptability, and resilience, all crucial ingredients for navigating life's unpredictable journey. As we draw conclusions, stoic exercises have emerged as a beacon guiding us towards a path of self-improvement and success. Their main objective is to mold us into resilient individuals who can brave through life's ups and downs with great fortitude. To begin with, these exercises us to start our day with an identified purpose. By setting clear goals, we give our actions direction and meaning, making each day a step towards our bigger objectives. By doing so, we are not merely surviving, but thriving as we work towards fulfilling our life's purpose. Next, they prompt us to be prepared for the unexpected. Life is full of uncertainties and twists, but by being mentally prepared, we can navigate these challenges with less stress and anxiety. Stoicism teaches us to accept and adapt to these changes, thereby promoting mental resilience and enabling us to bounce back from adversities. Moreover, stoic exercises encourage us to gain a broader perspective. By learning to look at the bigger picture, we can avoid getting caught up in the trivialities of life. This shift in perspective allows us to focus on what truly matters, fostering a sense of inner peace and contentment. Additionally, stoicism us to focus on what is within our control. By doing so, we can channel our energy more effectively, reducing unnecessary worries and maximizing our potential. This in turn boosts our productivity and propels us towards success. Finally, the Stoic philosophy encourages us to be ready for the worst-case scenarios. By contemplating potential negative outcomes, we can develop strategies to minimize their impact, should they occur. This keeps us grounded and reduces the fear of failure, thereby fostering courage and perseverance. The beauty of these exercises lies not just in their simplicity, but also in their practicality, making them easily adaptable in our daily lives. Stoicism is a philosophy that has withstood the test of time, offering wisdom and guidance for a more fulfilled and successful life. It's important to remember that the true power of these exercises lies consistent practice, so why not embark on this enriching journey today?